Oh, can we ask to go to her house? And then she could let me in her home? Because it's right around, it's right over here. Well, maybe after I greet her, she'll let me come inside the house. There we go. We had a little chee chat. Now, girl, let's talk about my wedding. And then I want to talk about your family, okay? I want to talk about where your kids at. Because I was instrumental in getting you pregnant. And I didn't even meet my nieces and my nephews yet. Are we even in a group? Because I think we need to be. Oh, can we not be in a group? Because they in a group? Oh, we got in they group then. Because I, I need to get inside my sister's house so I can meet my nieces and nephews. It's not fair. Um, in date. Now let's get back to Raffine. Now let's see if we can get a group going. Let's see. Do about the wedding. Ask to move in. Well, you know, if I ask her to move in, I could see her kids and just, just tell her, like, psych, kidding, you can't move in with me. Let me just ask her to move in. And she's like, yeah, sure, I'll move in. And let's see her kids. Because she has to have her kids. Wait a minute. The only person in her household is Matthew. Like, where are her kids? I made sure she would get pregnant. Are you telling me she never had no babies? She, But she was pregnant. I seen it. I seen it with my own eyes. Did she lose, like, did she lose custody of the babies? What the, where are her children? Where is Dana kids at? Oh, my goodness. I'm so confused. Oh, no, 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 no. I have, I have to, no. I got to do some stuff. Hold on. Let me, you, I'm so confused. What happened to her kids? Because she was pregnant. We seen it. She was big and everything. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. I, I have to go find some things out. So, you guys, I decided to go into edit town mode because I want to see exactly who was living in Dana's household. Dana is not pregnant. I don't know what happened to her children. Um, That is a mystery right now. I do want Dana to have a baby, so I may have to go back and get Dana pregnant all over again, which is annoying and hellish. I, I, I may actually ask Dana to move back in with me temporarily to see what the heck is going on. But I decided since, um, obviously that whole situation is crazy, I decided to click on Anthony's household. And as you see, he has twin girls, it looks like. It's just another baby, nobody's holding it, it would be on the ground. So they only had twins, they didn't have triplets or anything like that. Uh, I don't know the girls' names, but I guess the best thing we can do is go over to their house at some point in time and check out Raffinay's two other nieces. Uh, I still just can't believe the fact that <sighs> Dana somehow terminated her pregnancy or something. Like, I don't know what happened. Um, it's really annoying. But uh, also the problem I'm having is she does, if Dana does move in with her... Um, I don't even think there'll be enough room to, uh, get Dana pregnant. I just think it's crazy that somehow Dana's pregnancy just went away. Did, did I mess up in, in her pregnancy somehow? Like, I don't know. I don't remember doing anything like that. I'm so confused by the fact that she is not pregnant. Like, it's crazy. It's <laughs> But she's not. She's not pregnant. She's not at all. So, I'm kind of, I kind of want to move her in with me just to see if, uh, in fact, I will. I'm going to add her to my family. I'm not even going to do the whole moving process. I'm just going to add her to my family. I'm going to check. She has a cold, apparently. I'm going to check through here and see if she had children and made some, and, you know, I'm going to check and see if she had children and maybe something happened to them um I uh no no it doesn't even say she had children like something happened to her babies then something happened to her babies then this is absolutely bonkers to me number one her husband is super old yeah, it's not cute um <laughs> I'm telling it like it is. I'm just telling it like it is. You need to invite her husband out. 
Because she needs to meet with him and get pregnant. Like, ASAP. Like, I need her to get knocked up. Even if she only have one baby, she needs to at least have the one baby. She has to. Because it's not fair that, like, Dana is the oldest girl and sh she was the first one to get married and she's the only one without a baby. Yes, we know you're hungry. We'll fix you up in a second. Don't worry about it. Um, Raffine, you go home. This no longer concerns you. This is between Dana and her husband now, okay? So, Raffine, you go home. Dana, you wait for your man. Who apparently got a nice ass car now. <laughs> Useless man. Okay, let's get her pregnant by him. Get Richard Dan pregnant. Okay, she's pregnant. She is now pregnant by her husband. Um let's see. Pregnancy option. Chance of multiple birth. Just because. Just because of the simple fact that her husband was an a-hole. And something happened to her pregnancy. We get her pregnant with triplets. Boom. Because <laughs> I don't want to have to go through this no more. And not only that. Uh, she. So now I definitely don't know what she's having. I'm not even going to check on it. I'm just going to make her give birth like right now. Like start right now. In fact we're going to make her go. Yeah. No. I'm about to say let's make her go into labor and then go to the hospital. No. She's just going to give birth right here right now on the street corner. Wait, we're not going to the hospital. I said give birth right here, right now on the street corner. Well, then Matthew better come to the hospital with me then. Shoot. I hope she's still going to have the triplets. Because <laughs> I want her to have those babies so badly. And I don't trust to, like, let her go anywhere else. Where is she? Oh, she's at the house about to give birth. She's like, I'm not having no babies on the corner. How you gonna leave me here knocked up, Raffinate? Uh-uh, don't have them in Shatifa room. And Devon, what you doing on Shatifa bed? Anyway, would you like to give birth now? He's hungry. He's like, I gotta get out of here. Okay, she had a girl. Let me see. Uh, Gunning her daughter, Leah. Like, Leah Clearwater from Twilight. <laughs> There you go. Oh, she cross eye pain. And no one's even paying attention to her. There we go, baby. Please say she's having another baby because I want her to have multiple. Oh, she okay. She did all that kind of stuff. Bookworm, no. Be something useful. Uh, you can be artistic. <laughs> So I said, that's the only baby she's going to have? No. Because I want her to have a boy, too. That'd be nice. Put Leah down. Let's see if we can... I don't think we can make her have another one, though. Which is sad. Unless she can get Matthew over here. Matthew! Where her husband at? Matthew. Invite out. No, invite over. Just come over to the house. Get her pregnant, please. And we'll make it a boy. And we'll have it, like, immediately. Because we need more boys in this family. Everybody having girls so far. Don't feel like coming over right now. <sighs> well, at least she had her baby. To be honest... I don't even think I like Matthew for her no more. Because he seemed like he was very unsupportive of her having a baby in the first place. But you know what? That's her husband. That's her choice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go do the world edit. Move her back in with her husband. And it looks like Dana's only having one kid. This is like her miracle baby. Maybe she miscarried and lost the other baby. I don't know what happened. I have no clue what happened. So let me go do that and we'll be right back. Okay, so I went and moved Dana back in with her husband, and now they have their baby together. And now I'm noticing something else. Anthony Jr.'s wife has a different hairstyle. Which I'm guessing means that she aged into an adult, which is fine. 
But it also reminds me I need to go over there and see her because apparently she had my nieces. So I need to definitely go see her. It's late at night. I know. But we need to get over there. Because if not now, when? Why is there only one baby at the house? I'm about to do some cheating. About to teleport my ass on over there. And then bust up in the house like, hey, what's up? She's like, yeah, I'm a superstar because I can teleport. Uh, let's get inside that house. I don't know how many nieces and nephews I got. And, like, it's so unfair that I could have had more. And for whatever reason, something went wrong. Wait a minute. Now tell me I didn't meet um, Alberto. Okay, got about to say, like, well, that's Leah, right? Yeah, where's Alberto? And where's, um, shit. What's my other... Deirdre, where where they at? It's saying that Raph and they never met them. That's crazy. Raph and they would be a good aunt. They just not letting her meet her nieces and nephews, and that makes no sense. Okay, so one is just sitting here on the floor. Let me snuggle her. I guess feeding a bottle isn't the same as meeting. But where's the other baby at? Because the thing said they had two. Aww, with me, Borkle, new boo. Oh, I can't even get, like, let me see. Call residence. Aww. Anthony, finally meet my niece. It's still okay. Here she is. I need to call upstairs. Maybe child services took them away. Cause seriously, let me put her on the ground real quick. Wait a minute. The baby was inside of a baby. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm so confused. And then you notice this. So this is. So this is Janine, and then they had Jenna. Hmm. Okay, so, well then I guess I don't need to talk to my brother. Let me just talk to this one, and then I can know both of my nieces. I guess I need to go back to Peach's house, and I need to snuggle her, my other nieces and nephews, because I don't know them. This is like a horrible way to meet your family. They're just on floors. Someone take care of them. At least I know them. Got so many nieces. I got another niece and another nephew. I'm going to have to put you on the floor now, sweetie, though, because it's 1 a.m. and I can't take you home with me. <laughs> Dang, and I thought Raffinate was bad taking care of kids. They just all over the floor. Let me, uh, shoot, let me get back over to Peach's house. Because how much you want to bet her children still on the floor, too? Now I got to remember which building she live in. I think it's this building, right? No, that's mama house. Okay, there's her house. Is there still a baby on the floor at this apartment building? I'm going to die. Ugh. See, I still hear the babies. Or those toddlers. I hear children. Come on, let me in. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no, they didn't turn the toddlers. Wait, hold on, hold up, hold up. Oh my god, they turned the toddlers. How the hell did that happen? What? What? Who just. What? 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 Oh my god, and they blonde just like their mommy and they dad. You still fat, pe you f Peaches, you fat as shit. Anyway, though, girl, congratulations. Your children done went and turned into toddlers. Um, well, I guess let me meet them real quick. <laughs> Tickle them a bit and whatnot. Peaches, why you still in that swimsuit, though? Change into your everyday Peaches and you smell. Uh-uh, don't, 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 uh, don't do nothing. Stop that. Um, I want Peaches to not touch him so that I can meet him. He's my only nephew right now. Okay, now I'm gonna put her down. Cause I wanna meet him. So you gotta hand him over to me. There you go. Take the other baby. I already met that one. Now where, where is my niece? Cause, to be honest, I don't know when I'll be able to actually get over to like talk to her talk to her so I'm gonna just make her my family friend already now let me talk to my little nephew my nephew boo boo my only nephew so far 
Oh, Raffinate's gonna be a good auntie, though. She's gonna be taking them places and doing stuff for them. You know, none of her brothers or sisters did any of that for her. Well, that's not true. They not took care of them. All right, so I met them on um, putting down Alberto. I'm going home. Anyway, Raffinate need to get home to her own children. It is 3 a.m. Oof. Well, at least I did say I didn't want to have my bachelorette party till my sisters had their kids. So, they had them now. There's no doubt about that one. So, I guess now is the perfect time to start planning my bachelorette party. But we're going to have to do that in the morning. Because Raffinay is exhausted and need to get some sleep. So, let's get her in bed. Anybody else who need to be in bed, got to get in bed. The house is filthy. I cannot wait till we move. Oh, speaking of moving, before Raffinay go to bed, we need to rub that lamp again. Almost forgot about the genie in our pocket. Here we go. Let's make another wish. I want money, honey. I'm in a mistress. Give me the money, honey. Come on, give me that money. Money, 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 money. Money. Come on, man. Give me that money. There we go. Ah. I can fill the money in my bank account now. There we go. Ooh. We worth lots of money. Uh, Jeannie, you can leave now. Bye, Jeannie. <laughs> Let's get Raffiné in bed. Let's see. She, she she already knows. She don't get to sleep. So she can just... I'll just pull up her motor because she don't have a bed. And everyone else is already in bed. And they already know they got school in the morning. So I'm glad I, they got their little naps in. And I guess we'll get back to them in the morning. Shatifa can actually go to college right here in town. I'm not going to have to send her away and lose time or just make her move out so we don't have to deal with her college years. So Shatifa will actually be going to community college. I'm so proud of my baby girl going to community college and not making me spend lots of money on her tuition because she's going to have to pay for that all on her own.